Okay, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to transfer money to Bangladesh via Remitly and Bcash. Let's kick things off by setting up a Remitly account. You can do this in two ways, either download their app and sign up there or head over to their website, which I've linked below. And if you do use the link I've provided, it's an affiliate link, which means you'll benefit from an exclusive exchange rate and pay zero fees on your first transfer. If you click that link, you should now see this page with the new customer offer. Here, we just have to click send now. If you chose not not to use the affiliate link, that's okay. Just visit remitly.com and in the top right hand corner, click join now. Here we can create our account. Bangladesh should be the country selected at the top and all you have to do is enter your email address and password. At the bottom, you can also uncheck this box if you want to opt out of receiving any promotional emails. One of the great things about Remitly is that you don't need to verify your email address and you'll be immediately redirected to this page, which means you've completed the sign up process. Now we can begin the money transfer. Firstly, we can see the exchange rate we'll be receiving. This is actually a really good rate and that's thanks to the new customer offer. The currency displayed here will also vary depending on where you're located. As I'm in the UK, I have GBP. Here you can either enter the amount you want to send or you can enter the amount you want your friend or family to receive. I'm just going to enter 125,000 Bangladeshi Taka because that's the maximum amount you can send per day via Bcash. It also means that my receiver won't need to submit a copy of my passport and employment records in order to receive the government's 2.5% cash incentive. Next, we want to choose the delivery method, which will be mobile money and the payment method. You can choose from debit or credit card, Google Pay or Easy Bank Transfer. I definitely recommend you do not use a credit card as your provider will probably charge you a cash advance fee for this type of transaction. I'm going to choose debit card, click select and then continue. Now we want to select Bcash and then enter our recipient's first and last name. If we click continue, we then have to enter their mobile phone number, which is also their Bcash account number. Here we can decide whether we want them to be notified when the money is ready. And now you need to enter your details. It's really important that these are accurate and match your ID as we will shortly need to verify our identity. If you're happy the details are correct, click confirm and now enter your address before clicking continue. Here you can enter your telephone number and then click continue again. And now we need to select the payment method. If you've decided to pay via debit card, then click add new card. Enter your card details. And for the sake of this video, I'm just going to use a single use virtual card. So these details will only work once. At this point, we can review the transfer and make sure we're happy with the total amount we're sending and the amount our recipient will receive. You'll also see the estimated date and time for delivery. It might experience with Remitly, the money usually arrives a lot faster than this. And with Bcash, it can literally just take a few minutes. If you scroll down, click continue and then proof of identity, we now have to submit our ID for verification. This is very routine when it comes to sending money internationally and it isn't something to worry about. You also have a number of choices available. In this case, I'm going to use my passport as my form of ID. If you're on a desktop like me, you should see something like this. And if you click get secure link, you'll then be able to either scan this QR code or get a direct link. The QR code or the link will direct you to a page where you can upload your ID and the whole thing is really straightforward. I'm going to scan the QR code with my iPhone and then take a photo of my passport. Just ensure you do this somewhere with good lighting. I've chosen to take the photo next to a window. Now that's done, we just have to go back to the desktop and click submit verification. One thing to note, the transfer won't be complete until Remitly have verified your ID, but that shouldn't take longer than one hour. All that's left to do is scroll down, click send money and confirm the transaction. If you want to track your transfer, you can do this by going to transfer history and it will appear in the pending section of this page. Hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comment section. I'll be happy to assist. Goodbye.